Okay, this is a video of a bunch of painted label sodas that I'm selling. These are all in my store currently. Somebody requested that I make a video of all the painted sodas. This is maybe the best one. It's a $60 one. That's a key piece to any ACL collection. It's in mint condition. Probably this is really the best one. I've actually seen one of these sell on eBay for $3,100. It was in attic mint condition and probably the only one or the first one ever listed on there and it was before the economy went bad. This one I have $200 on and it's from Safford, Arizona. That is such an early looking painted label. It's probably from 1938 or 39. This one comes in about five different variations. It is actually from a beer company in Los Angeles. Embossed on the neck. It's kind of got some wear on the side here. But it's actually from San Bernardino. The Eastside Brewing Company is from Los Angeles. And a Suncrest. These are very common, except for this one, Dr. Pepper Bottling Company, Phoenix, Arizona. It's the only one I've ever seen that said Dr. Pepper on it. And it's pretty much in mint condition. That one is going to be $17. And then a Sparkle. That's a pretty scarce bottle. And it's from Gallup, New Mexico. And of course it is $17 also. And an upper 10. It's from the Nehi Company. And here's one of many variations of the Warley. This is from Selma, North Carolina. It's pretty much in mint condition. has a very light stain on the inside. And here's one of the small six and a half ounce. The first painted label Dr. Pepper from 1958. It's got the slanted writing. They're pretty scarce in the small size and with the slanted writing. It's six and a half dollars. And the Donald Duck. That's definitely a classic bottle to have in your collection. It's in pretty close to mint condition. Just the slightest bit of stain on there, right, right there. But there's also this side. It's also got a bit of stain right there. And a Peter Pan. It's full, but it's really just a refill. Just to make it display better. $25. It was only bottled in Huntington Park, California. So I'm sure you haven't seen very many of these. And half liter Mountain Dew. That's pretty scarce. If you look in the Ayers Pepsi guide, it doesn't even show one of these. It shows a commemorative one of the same size, but this one that's not a commemorative you would think would definitely be in the book, but it isn't. So because of that it's $30. And the Amber Golden Cola. This one is truly mint. And it has no city listing on it. There's a Carolina Club, which is a Pepsi Cola product. One of the very few painted label Pepsi product bottles. It's in truly mint condition. It's from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and it's $25. And here's a really great one. It's the Bronco in Amber from Monahans, Texas. $50. But you certainly don't see very many of these around. Then the quench. This comes in three or four sizes. This is the little seven-ouncer. 
And this is a really good one. This is from Wilson, North Carolina. It's in almost mint condition. Just has slight wear and slight discoloration to the white. But it's a very displayable specimen. And it is going to be $150. And there's the Fowlers. That's a North Carolina bottle. It's from Charlotte. Here's another upper 10, but this one actually says knee high on the front. And it is a North Carolina bottle from Greensboro. And a Canada Dry. It's in very mint condition. Sparkling clean, no case wear. One of the few ones that actually says the city on it, Greensboro, NC. And then we have a Carson's, another North Carolina bottle, it's a 12 ouncer. From Wilson, North Carolina. And then a Gordon's. This one's in very close to mint condition. It's only six dollars. And it has multiple cities from North Carolina. Then another Warley's, same as the last one, but with blue paint. This one's very near mint. The glass is very shiny and clean and no case wear at all. A little bit of discoloration on the paint. And it is $15. And then we have the Caravan, a classic North Carolina bottle. It's from the Cheerwine Bottling Company. And it's truly mint condition. It's a 10 ouncer. And then this type of knee high, which is rather scarce. And it's also from North Carolina. From Wilmington. And it's six and a half dollars. And I have another Warley's bottle. It's a newer one. It's five dollars. It's probably from the early 70s. It's from Selma, North Carolina. Then we have a Catawba. Catawba Valley. It's six dollars. It's very mint condition. And it's from Newton, North Carolina. And then the Southway. These come in three or four different bottle styles and maybe from 10 or 11 different cities. This is a fairly scarce one. It's from Hamlet, North Carolina. The paint on the back is a little discolored. But it's a pretty nice picture bottle. Eight and a half dollars. And then we have a 12 ounce it's called Double Dry. And it's truly mint condition. Rocky Mount, North Carolina. And then we have a Sunrise. And it's also from North Carolina. From the big city of Raleigh. It's only five dollars. Then they got this Mountain Dew. It's got the name on it from West Jefferson, North Carolina. The ones with the names on them are ten times as rare as the ones that don't have a name. This is a fairly scarce one. It's $48 and it's in mint condition. Then a Dr. Wells. I believe that's a root beer. Seven and a half dollars. It's a 12 ouncer. It's pretty much mint condition. Slight staining on the inside. And it just says it's from the bottling company of North Carolina. No city listed. And then we have a Pepsi that's in extremely nice condition. It's the scarcer 10 ounce that has the red ring around it. And it's from the city that created Pepsi. New Bern, North Carolina. 
It's such a nice example. But still, it's only $7. Then we have a knee-high of this style. Slightly different than that last one I showed you. It's in pretty near mint condition. And then we have this one. Skinnier than the last one. And this one is from Charlotte. And then I have another Southway of a different style. The picture is kind of smaller on this one and a bit different. This one's extremely clean. No case wear. It's only six dollars. It's from Martinsville, Virginia. Well, as you can see, I got plenty more to film. All these bottles can be purchased either by coming here to my store or you can buy them through the mail. Of course, you gotta pay for the shipping. Nine dollars on the first bottle, six dollars on the second bottle, four dollars on the third bottle, and it just keeps getting less for each bottle. And then we have the standard Hillbilly Mountain Dew it's in pretty near mint condition. It's eight dollars. Then I have probably a ten ounce great bet. It's pretty close to mint. Then we have a grape pico, or however you pronounce it. I guess it's a grape soda. No city listed, but most of these come from Alabama. That's a super clean example. Six dollars. Then we have a Dixie. It's got a picture of a Southern Belle. A lady image bottle. It only costs eight dollars. It's from Burlington, North Carolina. The paint on the back is missing a little bit. And up here but if you filled it with a dark soda and displayed it from the front, then it looks pretty good. Then for $9 we have a Kickapoo. It's the scarcer yellow label. It's also considered a Mountain Dew imitator. It's got a great picture on it. Everybody that collects painted sodas will want one of these. And the back side has a little bit of a problem with the paint. And here is one from, no, it's actually uh, Jefferson, North Carolina, from the Nesbitt Bottling Company. I didn't know the Nesbitt Company actually had product bottles other than Nesbitt's. The Double Line. It's a 12 ounce or seven and a half dollars. And it's all the way from Tucson, Arizona. Close to mint condition. These are usually in clear, so this one being the aqua colored glass is rather unusual. It's pretty close to mint, just has a little bit of high point case wear. And here's a great California picture bottle from the 40s. Although the paint got faded out and 28 years ago I refilled it in with a red sharpie, but it didn't come out too good. That's a pretty tough bottle to find. And this is from the Nesbitt Bottling Company of Escondido, California. It will be $8. And a Red Rock Cola. Sparkling clean label. It's $9. And it's, from, it's from Vancouver, Washington. And another great picture bottle that's also considered a Mountain Dew copy. It is the Kick. $17. And it was bottled by Royal Crown. That's interesting. And another ABC. It is from South Carolina. It's from Aiken. It's super clean. It's only seven and a half dollars. Then a Vescola. It is a 
12 ouncer. From Cambridge, Ohio. So we have a quench. It's the bigger 10 ounce size. It is from Seattle, Washington. And for only $4, we have a White Rock, a classic lady bottle. But since it's a national brand, they're fairly common. It's from New York, New York. And we have a double line of a different variety. It's from Durham. Seven and a half dollars. Then we have a Daniel Boone. It is from Spencer, North Carolina. Nine dollars. It's a 12 ouncer. The paint's a little bit missing on a few spots. But this is the best example I could come up with. Circle V beverages from Deming, New Mexico. Don't see many of those. It's pretty close to mint condition. Very few people know the Voyeurs Bottling Company. Also was a Pepsi Cola bottler. I actually have a wooden Pepsi crate that has that name on it. And a sun crest of this unusual variety. Looks like a 10 ouncer. Still got the stuff in it. it looks like an original fill to me because it's only two thirds of the way full. So a lot of it dried up. You can see the cap has the original Suncrest name but there's a little pinhole in it. Probably rust. So that would be kind of difficult to mail it. seven dollars. Got the Mountaineer. It's a classic picture bottle from West Virginia. From the Coca-Cola Bottling Company. It's pretty much in mint condition. It's twelve and a half dollars. Then a Sun Drop. One of five or six varieties of these. And it's six dollars. And here's a different variation of the east side from Los Angeles and San Bernardino. It's got the yellow and black label. It's pretty discolored. It's ten dollars. Then we have a Flavet. I guess it had grape soda or strawberry or cream soda. It's a sparkling clean example and it's only $4.50. Then two way. It's a fairly scarce bottle in this big 12 ounce size. It's a pretty good example, but it does have a slight bit of paint loss right there. A Mount Lassen. Picture of a mountain. It's got a little bit of messed up paint right there. But it's a pretty tough bottle to find. Susanville, California. With the sparkling clean and then a Mr. Cola. It's a 10 ounce of sparkling clean. Six dollars. Popland with cactus images on it. Obviously from Arizona. I believe it's from Tucson. If not, then it's from Phoenix. Pretty odd picture bottle. It's in mint condition and it's only five and a half. Then I got the Rolla. It's a big 32 ouncer. Maybe 28 ounces. I don't know for sure, but obviously if I have to mail one of these, it's going to be a little bit more than nine dollars because this is twice as heavy as those others. And this one is going to be nine dollars. Another large size. Royal Crown. One pint and 12 ounces. It's a pretty tough size to find. And that is going to be $9 also. 